Welcome back everyone, it's Kathy from Bridges Stamping. Today we're going to be making a really cool card using the color and contour set and the Stamparatus. I'm going to have some announcements, um, so please uh, stay to the end of the video or check my blog for more information. Now I got the Stamparatus with my last um, order, you may have seen my unboxing. And I ended up using it quite a bit more than I thought I would. So I'll just show you really quickly. It comes with two doors. This is just a piece of my grid paper that I cut. This is the foam that you use with the photopolymer st stamps. And then this is um, the grid. It's um, on the actual Stamparatus itself. And then on the back, you have two magnets. Now, I actually like using the magnets. Um, some people were showing how you can use it without but I think the humidity in New Jersey uh, makes it a little hard because the paper tends to stick to the stamps, I found. So um, I like to actually use them. Now, the reason I have this tape on them, these are really strong magnets and if they get to each other, they will shatter, so be very careful with them. So this actually was cut out with the scallop contours dies. Now, it's, this is set is worth it just for these dies. There's some amazing shapes and a really cool border. I haven't even um, scratched the surface with this yet. Um, we're gonna be using this color and contour set. Now, what's cool about the Stamparatus, so actually, let me attach, I don't know if you could see it in the camera, the top window. Actually, let me just move it down a bit. It's gonna run into my wire a little bit here, okay. So we're going to place our stamp. So I want this little flower to go about here, I think. Okay, so then I pick it up with my Stamparatus, move it to the side, and I want the phrase we're gonna be using, um, thank you for everything. And I want it to be, just make sure I'm measuring it correctly. There, so I'll go pick that up with my other door. Let's try that again. I didn't do it very well. Okay. Okay. And you can see what I'm talking about, the humidity, about the picking up the um, paper a little bit. That's why the magnets are really important. Just move them over a little bit. Okay. So first, what we're going to do is ink up the flower. Now, I'm going to do a bad job on purpose because, oh look, I missed half the flower. Well, the nice thing about the Stamparatus is you can re-ink. And don't worry about the ink on the actual Stamparatus. And then you can stamp it again in the exact same place. So if you make a mistake, you can just re-stamp. There you go, and it's this really nice, crisp um, lines. And then a trick I forgot to show you is actually if you put the stamp set underneath, it makes it easier to ink. And then we're gonna come up here, pardon my arms, and we're gonna ink up our sentiment. And then I'm gonna stamp that. And press it pretty good, but it doesn't take too much force. I like to rub it. And then once again, if I didn't get it right, I can always re-stamp. Okay. And so that's um, the Stamparatus makes it really easy to make multiples. I had to make about 20 or so thank you cards. And then I started using the Stamping Chamois. It actually is really easy for cleaning up the Stamparatus. If this is just water. It's stained, but it's clean. You can just run it under water. Um, and it, it, the stamp, the ink just kind of stays behind and voila, everything is clean. And I just store it in a stamp case and it stays damp. So you run it under water, clean it out, and then just keep it in the stamp case. Now there's one more trick I wanna show you today. I just wanna make sure I put my magnets away um, so they don't get anywhere they're not supposed to be, especially near my computer. So we're just gonna move this to the side. Don't ever store your two doors on top of each other. You wanna take one out Put it on like that we're just gonna move that to the side now this card i would like to put on a fresh freesia base 
so I think it would be really nice to color these flowers in fresh freesia. However, I don't have fresh freesia blends because when I was um, placing my order, those were out of stock. But I did get a fresh freesia ink pad. So basically what I do is I take the ink pad, I take a block, I'm just gonna put a little ink on the block, and then I'm gonna use a blending pen. Now Stampin' Up! sells blending pens, but this is one I actually had in my arts and crafts collections, a Tombow blending pen. All you have to do is just rub it in the ink, and then color. And you do get some different shades, kind of like using the stamping blends. The more you ink you put on, it does lighten a little bit as it dries. But it's the really good way to make the most out of your inks. And there you go. It's a perfect match for the cardstock which is actually hard to see on camera, but in person they actually are a perfect match. Okay, and then now we have this really nice thank you card. Once again, I can clean off my acrylic block with my chamois. And after the video's over, I'm going to go rinse this under some water. So really quickly, the new holiday catalog will be out August 1st. So for all the month of July, I will be doing Christmas in July. Um, I'll be doing st sets that are in the annual catalog, and if my pre-order comes in, sets from the new uh, mini catalog as well. So please subscribe, you don't want to miss that, and check out my blog for updates. Uh, have a great day. Stamp on.